chairman of the exchange, the chairman and CEO of the exchange, saw that I, I was a good agent for change and offered me a job. He said, look, I want you to come on board. Give up your training. Give up uh, everything that you know and come and work for me at the CDOE and help me implement the change and help me with strategy going forward. I have no idea what you're talking about. Again, I'm a fractions guy. I had no idea how to run a business. We were private at the time, but I still had no idea what I was doing. So I, I gathered smart people around me, everyone I possibly can. I just never stopped asking questions. What does it mean if technology has to do this? Technology, I have no idea, consult it. What do you mean, if, what, is it, what does it mean that we have to put this output or this capacity in systems? All of this was a foreign language. But I surrounded myself with the smartest people and I have never stopped asking, asking a question. You're going to be in a room. Somebody in this room is the smartest person in the room. It isn't me. One of you is the smartest person in the room. You might know who it is. They don't know everything. They're really probably very, very smart, but they don't know everything. You will never always be the smartest person in the room. The smartest and the best at certain things, and that's it. So the key is grab your strength, grab the people with better, other strengths, different gifts than you, and surround yourselves with them and learn how to listen. And back to learn how to communicate. They will help you, you will help them. The core of the team will be better and you'll be able to move forward. That is with business, that's with life, that's with everything. So eventually this job took, I, I got better at it, never thought I knew everything. I was offered the position as president of the exchange about three years ago, president and chief operating officer. Did that for about a year, and then the board decided to talk to the job as CEO. In that time period, the CBOE went through another major change. We went from this privately owned organization where the members, like a country club, own the exchange to a publicly traded company. We went through the IPO process. Anybody know what that means? Initial commercial company. Correct. So what does that mean for a private company? It means that they're expanding the public to try to fundraise money during around one of the fundraising rounds. Correct. So we got bankers, uh, investment bankers, some of may want to do that one day, who represented us, took us on a roadshow across the country. That's where we got Koei beginning to get to a private chat. You fly coast to coast and you make a pitch. And you're in front of major banks and institutions like pension funds. You're in front of uh, hedge funds. You're in front of individuals, high net worth individuals. And you tell the story. You tell them why your company, if you go public and they invest with you, why you will outpace the return as if they just threw a dart at the wall and picked a different stuff. That was kind of fun. So I was selling this idea of the CEO. It was Really exciting. We went public in June 2010, so we'll celebrate five years of being public. We went public at $29 with a uh, capitalization, and we know what that means, of about uh, 2.6 or $7 billion. Market so over the years, we continue to tell the story. We try to bring new investors. We try to innovate. We try to change. So as CEO, I, my job is to execute on the strategy of the exchange to make sure we have the resources to take us to the next level and outpace the industry, my competitors, and the S&P 500. What's the S&P 500? Five biggest, five biggest companies in so it is the U.S. benchmark. It is what the world and, and every portfolio manager measures themselves against the return of the S&P 500. So I had to do the same thing as CEO. Every day I try to outpace the returns of the S&P 500. So today we close at about $65 or about $5.5 billion. So in five years we have certainly outpaced uh, the, the broader market. My job now is to take the local CBOE story, right? So C, Chicago's in our name. And that is a wonderful thing if you're from the city of Chicago. But when you look to the globe, it doesn't carry the same brand or the same weight. Unless you, if you had some more, you know, more global appeal. 
So our job is to globalize the CDB's brand and its products. So now as CEO, the job is to broaden the exposure, continue this incredible return that we've had, and bring our story to more and more people. So I'm here to hear. I can't tell you it's 65. That's not going to be my job. I've got to tell you why it's higher.